just curled up there. It's quite big, actually. And it's a female bong slung. I can tell it's a brown colour. Um, it's an excellent climbing snake, so to get up here is no problem at all. And it's bigger than the, what I was expecting as well. The guy said it was about that long, about a metre. I can already tell that's bigger than that. It's almost double, I'd say. It's quite a big one. I'm not going to disturb it. I think it, it look, looks fine. It did move a little bit. Let me just touch the back there. Bong slungs are extremely venomous, but they're quite placid. Yeah, it's fine. It looks alive. It's very cold. No, it's cold. OK, that's moving off. OK, can you just watch it? Once yeah, I get yeah, it back. Yeah. I touched it with my fingers to start with, just to make sure the snake was all right, because I didn't know if the snake had been injured, you know, climbing around on the wheels and all the rest of it. Maybe the snake had been hurt. So I just touched it on the back of the tail there, and it's, it lifted its head up and thought, oh, it's definitely a bomb slung, and it just stayed there, which was good. Um, I'll probably just use a hook to just keep the torch on it, because if we go through a tunnel, I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Just wait there. All right, the head end. He's puffing his throat out a little bit. Sorry, snake. Grab the tail. The train's swaying all over oh, the place. Um, right there. If this girl tries to bite me, I'm at a serious disadvantage here. Just mind out. I want to lift it off. But we've got to get it off before the passengers get on. Right, um, just let it stay like that. Watch out. Just probably just have to use the tongs. Hold on. They would rather get away than bite. Bites to humans are almost unheard of, to be honest with you, but it's normally handlers like myself or catchers now. that are at risk because you're obviously dealing with them all the time. Um, we don't catch many bomb slungs. Uh, they tend to stick to trees and bushes, that's where they belong, but it is a potentially very dangerous snake. Oh, sorry, it's done it. It's a beautiful snake. This is fantastic. I'm starting to lose faith there a bit. This is a female bomb slung. Um, the males tend to be bright to green. Uh, where the females are like a drabby brown, but they do vary. They're diamorphic, so you can tell the difference between males and females just by looking at them. And the way to tell is a bomb sign's got a very blunt shaped nose, shaped head, and big, big eyes. Got excellent eyesight, these snakes. And uh, they mainly live in trees and bushes. Obviously, it's climbed in here purely by accident and found a little home up in that uh, racking area above. But other than that, I'm just going to look in the light here. Looks absolutely fine. There's no... I was worried, you know, it might get be injured by the train. But it looks absolutely fine. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. The, the bite from one of these snakes is very serious. If it did bite a passenger, you've got to get to hospital. I'm just going to bag it up now and get it out of here because we are coming to the next station very shortly. We've probably got about three or four minutes till we actually stop. So we caught the snake just in time. Can you pass the bag there, Sue? Mm-hmm. No, for me to do it. No, I'm all right here. There's a lot of passengers waiting to get on this train at the next stop. We're going to have to get this bomb slung off the train safely and without anyone even suspecting a deadly snake hitched a ride. Yeah, just twist it. The problem is, okay, I'm letting go. we don't exactly blend into the crowd. <laughs> they don't need to know there was a snake on the train. Let's just pop it straight into the bag here. That's it. Well, I'm just going to sit here now. <laughs> yeah, now we can't really do anything until this train stops.